Milwaukee Veterans Affairs Hospital is under a microscope after federal investigators found big problems with the mental health facility. The I-Team's Casey Geraldo found out they've poured big money into fixing the issues, and Casey joins us live with what she's uncovered. Casey. That's right, George and Carol. The federal VA investigators went to Zablocki Mental Health Unit to check on complaints dating back to 2015. Last summer, they heard even more concerns from Senators Tammy Baldwin and Ron Johnson. It's where veterans go to focus on their health and well-being, but accusations from summer 2016 say the mental health inpatient unit may not have been safe and secure. Safety is the most important thing that we do here. Medical Center Director and CEO Daniel Zomchek started in June 2016. He says he learned of the issues then. According to this report from the Federal Veterans Affairs Office of Inspector General, the facility allowed banned items into the unit, didn't have enough staff, including lack of a psychiatrist in the mental health unit. This report says staff were recording rounds on patients that never even happened. In August 2016, investigators were let into the mental health unit, but were never asked who they were. That was my holy cow moment. We needed to make sure that we take care of the safety and security of that building. Today, Zomchek says the hospital has made all the necessary improvements and then some. We had to hire a 24-7 security guard at the front uh, gate. To, to make sure people were checking their pockets, asking them if they had any contraband on them, et cetera. We had to lock the windows. We decided to put screech alarms on all of the external doors, installed over 70 additional cameras. He says the facility has changed management and added seven staff members so patients know staff are around. And he says a psychiatrist now works in the building. Zomchek says in addition to the more than a million dollars the facility spent on upgrades, he's also brought in external reviewers con to continue making improvements there. The hospital does have until November to correct all those issues. George and Carol. Casey, thank you very much.